policeman. I come and go, we got the policeman. <laughs> Mr. Policeman Mr. Moron Man Mr. Mind Control the Moron Man Mr. Policeman Oh, did you see the, they got the steel flag there. This is my little shortcut. They got a flag stuck there. <laughs> Mind control popping out everywhere. It pops out. I, I went, went to the staples. I fucked up my staples. I had uh, this whistleblower. There goes a Blacksburg. We had our, this uh, uh, whistleblower uh, thing I got from uh, this guy at Occupy Wall Street. He's being uh, totally targeted targeted as well. All his communications have been, uh, been robbed, have been uh, thwarted. Uh, it's totally isolated. And uh, here's my neighbor popping out just as I'm coming home. Always got a neighbor popping out. <laughs> he knows now. He knows every time I come rolling in and, and he, he goes to the door and says, Oh, they, they got me. <laughs> he knows about this mind control. He knows what's going on. But uh, yeah, so I got this thing... Uh, from this guy, guy at Occupy Wall Street. That's why I moved here, to be with people. Help a whistleblower. Stop silencing bank whistleblowers. That's exactly what they're doing. They're silencing everybody. Not only bank whistleblowers, they're silencing every whistleblower. They're silencing people who, truthers, and he talks about journalists, truthers, anybody. Anybody they want to silence their silence. They're using this fucking mind control, directed energy weapons. They fucking, uh, they're using uh, private corporations. Here, here he talks about who, who can intercept, direct, filter, and spoof telephone calls in the United States without impunity. Your life and your business will slowly be strangled. Can national security contractors act as secret police serving private interests? Who stops them? And that's the absolute truth. That's what, that's who, who is doing this. They are fucking taking our tax dollars and giving it to these fucking corporations who uh, are now targeting innocent people who are just trying to get the truth out and speak some truth in this country because it's been so fucking corrupted and suppressed. And uh, this is what's happening to to not only me, but to every to all the a lot of these people. Uh, a few of us make it to these play, kind of places and get our get our story out. But uh, yeah, it's exactly what's going on. And all my all my conversations have been uh, are intercepted. All my phone calls are intercepted. All my emails I get no emails anymore. I I don't hear from anybody anymore. The people I used to have conversations with, I used to t friends on the internet, haven't heard from them in years. So <laughs> they're trying to get me out of New York. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. And. Uh, I've been trying to get a hold of this girl. Never, never. I've left several messages. Never get, never get a call back. <laughs> so they're they're intercepting all my calls. My phone doesn't ring. I've sent out thousands of resumes. Nothing. Absolutely not one call. And I got fantastic references, resume, MBA, everything. Not one call. And I've been sending out. I probably sent at least a thousand, a thousand. Uh, emails out in the past past six months no you, you go on craigslist you can easily send out a hundred emails just just in one sitting you know you just start whacking away sending them out and uh not nothing not one call absolutely nothing i think i got a call uh, well i got well i got a call 
the, the only job that I that somebody actually called me on was was to, to shovel horse shit, and I did that for for eight months, and I said no more for ten bucks an hour, and, and then the, uh, I got another call from some guy who wanted me to weed his garden for ten bucks an hour, and sit outside in the chemtrail shit in the hundred degree record temperatures that we had this summer, uh, and pull weeds. That's it. That's that's the, those are the kind of phone calls. If I get any phone calls, I might possibly get.